So, let's begin! First of all, you have to sketch a normal drawing like any other. This will be the drawing you will use to make the animation. Just don't worry about the sketch being perfect. If you detail it too much, you'll spend more time making it than the animation itself. In some cases, it's even easier not to sketch, to go straight to the line yard. Just make the sketch simple and objective, it will be more than enough. And it's done! Lower the opacity to a visible one so you can line yard over it. Create a new layer and select your line yard brush. I particularly use the hard pen, the simplest one that everyone knows. Now for the magic part and the secrets. Line yard the drawing by separating each body part. For example, separate the head from the ears as if they are not parts of the same body. Watch this part carefully, it's super important. Oh yes, and separate the parts into different layers, for example, head on layer 3, right ear on layer 2, and left ear on the layer 1. And it's done! I had some things that I wanted in the sketch, like the hair and the tail. Make the parts recognizable to you, even if you leave one of them alone. Now it's time to paint! Color all parts separately. I put it on the same layer as the line yard, but I don't really recommend doing that. Paint each part on the layer below the line yard, and when you're done, merge the line yard with its reflective color. This part is very difficult to explain, but I hope you understood. And it's done again! If you did what I said and that and when you increase the opacity to scale the parts together to appear to be a single drawing, you did it correctly. Now save all parts as transparent PNG separately. Now it's editing time! Open your light motion and create a new project. These are the settings I use. Import all the parts you draw. Adjust the size and change the name to make it easier to recognize. Done! Now comes the most complex part, so watch carefully. Let's start by animating the head. Click on the head file and click Move and Transform. This is the Move and Transform interface. Add three K frames: the button under the back button, one at the beginning, one in the middle, and one at the end. Select the middle keyframe and drag its head down through the place where it says swipe here to move layer. It will be like this. Now we have a head bobbing now, but let's make it smoother. Open the Move and Transform interface again and click the button below the keyframe button. Welcome to Graphs, this is where we make our animation smoother. On the right, we have some ready made graphics that can be used. We'll be using the last one, the Z shaped one. Adjust it a little bit. Click on the three dots on the left and click on Copy Graph. Paste on the other side. Now our animation looks like this. Way smoother, right?
Repeat the same process on the hair. When dragging, drag it a little lower than usual. If you don't understand, please watch. Also, don't forget to paste the graphs. It's looking like this. Repeat the process on the body. Now it's time to animate the tail, ears and arm. Let's start with the arm. When clicking move and transform, click on the second option on the right, it's the rotate tool. But when I rotate the arm, this happens, we don't want that. Let's go back to the move button and click it one more time. It's the pivot point too. When you move it to a place that has articulation and try to rotate it again, see what happens. Now this is what you want. Rotate whatever you want. Oh, and click on the move to again to adjust the position. So it won't look like it's out of place. Don't forget about the graphs on both tools. Let's do the same thing in the ears and tail. Remember, where does the articulation is, is where the pivot point goes. Ta-da! It's done! Now here's a tip to make your animation look even better. Click on a part that has the pivot point chain, like as the tail, arm or ears. Now click on effects. Click on add effect. Add effect curve or something like that. I don't know how it's how it looks like in English, but yeah. Add a keyframe at the beginning, one in the middle, and one at the end. Grab the middle keyframe angle as far as you want. Again, don't forget about the graph. It will look like this. Amazing, right? You can also cut and paste this effect on other parts. Now just export, save, and you're done! That's so, all! See how simple it is? Thank you for the like, subscribe and comment! If you can, don't forget to support me on Ko-Fi!
Bye. See you on my next video.